Hey, what's up guys? Nate here from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. Welcome back to another Sonic Academy video. Today we're going to be checking out Infiltrator from Devious Machines. It's a sick little multi-effects plugin. I've been having a ton of fun with it. It's got some really, really cool features. We're going to take a look at what it can do right now. Let's check it out. Right, so I've got a couple of parts loaded in here that we're going to play around with in just a sec. I've got this loaded on drums right now. Uh, take a listen to what you can do with this. So that's pretty extreme, but it does that and everything else in between, right from just single effects and pretty mundane effects and filtering uh, right up to this kind of really glitched out um, kind of effect. It kind of has the DNA from uh, Shaper Box with D-Blues glitch and stutter edits. It's kind of the bastard child of those three plugins. Um, and it is a joy to play around with. Let's take a look at how this works exactly. We're going to just initialize this preset to begin with. And let's just look at the UI for a sec. So the premise of this is you have 10 different uh, effects units built inside of this. Each one of these sort of engines uh, can house its own effect. If you click on that, you have a number of filtering options here. Um, four different flavors of filter uh, along with that. And then those each come in a band pass, high pass and low pass variant. Uh, you can also set the slope as well uh, once those are selected. Um, then you have a number of other different effects, auto panning, uh, looping, delays, reverbs, uh, decimators, so forth. You can check through all of those. Bunch of stuff that we have in there. Let's start off with just a simple filter. We'll grab the clean low pass filter. And you'll see once you've selected an effect there, you greet with this screen where you have sort of an LFO. You've got some controls for the effect down here. Uh, you also have the timing for the LFO in this section here. Uh, you have a filter graph, which will kind of show you what's going on with your effect. And the envelope follower, so you can actually follow the signal that you're putting in there. We're going to take a look at that right now as well. Uh, and then that all runs into a master section with a compressor, some drive, and this clean bass, which basically mono, mono out the subs view below that frequency, mix and gain. So anyways, let's take a listen to what this is doing now. Right off the bat, we push play. We've got our filter happening. Got resonance over here. You'll see some of the other filters will have additional controls. Like this, for example, you have a drive. Cool. Um, let's take a look at the different kind of modulation that you can do here now. So how this works, you can choose Unipolar, bipolar, or chromatic, which will be note input, tune certain effects with a MIDI input um, using this. Uh, but let's um, go back to our unipolar mode and let's dial in. First of all, let's just grab a shape. Uh, you can randomize it, which is really nice. You also have a number of different preset shapes. You've got a sine wave there. Uh, you also have these handy little ones where you can kind of you can kind of adjust the amount of sawtooth, for example, by using this. You can drag that out and can really go to town. Various different other preset shapes, and you can save your own shapes as well. So, for example, if I wanted to, let's start off with that one. Let's say I wanted to be able to side chain stuff. You could use this for side chaining quite easily. We'll set up our own shape there. And we can go and save that shape as well. Uh, we could save it in the more section here, for example. So there we have a side chain preset now. So let's assign that to our filter. Let's play that back. You see the filters all the way down. And you can hear that's basically running that envelope now onto our filter. We can change the timing for that. basically side chaining now. Let's disable that for one second. So just turn the modulation off. 
And you'll see down here we have our envelope selected, our envelope follow. And I'm going to turn this dial up a little bit here. And basically, it's going to follow the contours of the amplitude of the drum track now as well. We'll take a listen to this. So that's the two different means of modulating the sound. I do wish that they'd added an option uh, in some cases to modulate some of the other uh, parameters via one of these LFOs. I would have really have liked to have been able to say, for instance, modulate the mix or something like that with uh, its own LFO or just maybe an assignable LFO would have been nice. Um, but let's see, maybe that's something that they add another, at another stage. Uh, we've also, just before we move on, we've got a couple of extra little if, um, controls down at the bottom here. The stereo offset and the glide, uh, you'll be able to hear if we do, let's say, the S and H kind of filter there. Let's dial that in. We can tile up the glide. It basically acts like a slew limiter, it'll just smooth out all your signals that are coming from this modulator here. Um, let's also just check out the compressor quickly. Really nice tone, actually. I like, quite like this sort of as an effect uh, in its own right. Like I, you get, especially on drums, it has a really nice slammy kind of quality to it. You've also got a drive knob here as well. And the nice thing is you can actually put this pre effects as well. You've got a number of different uh, algorithms, both for the drive and the compression. Um, now let's get into the really interesting stuff, uh, which is where you start combining multiple effects inside of a sequence to create really, really interesting movements in your audio. Um, so let's just take a look. If you check along the top here, our different engines, we can add in a second engine here now. So let's add in the reverb. We don't even really need to animate these. You could leave them static even, but we'll do some, some animation on these. Some automation, let's put in a delay. And notice how these change for different um, engines as well. Okay, we'll bring that in, and we're going to change up some of the times. Uh, let's go with some loopers. We'll just hit randomize there. Let's bring in another looper. I'm just kind of very randomly bringing in stuff and just creating random shapes and so forth. But Okay, there you have everything running at the same time. Now what we're going to do is go and click on Edit Sequence. You'll notice that you have all of your engines that you've loaded up here represented inside of the sequence. And you can basically turn these on and off inside here now at give any given interval. Once you hit play, there we go. Uh, and the sequence also has its own time that you can set up here. So we've got this currently playing at four, uh, quarter speed. One, one over four. Um, that doesn't affect the speed at which these are playing. These all have independent speeds. So if you enable one of these now, let's say over here. You can see regardless of the speed here, yeah, it's going to enable it only for one, of, for, uh, one quarter note um, in the sequence. Uh, if we were to slow the sequence down, so that it was like at, let's say, a bar per note, this would actually play twice um, when it's enabled there. We could speed this up to eighths even. And there you go. So let's start randomly putting in some um, a sequence here. We'll just kind of uh, at random add in a whole bunch of little bits and pieces here. And I, I, this is just so great just for experimenting like this. You get some really interesting stuff just by randomly, you know, adding stuff in and see what happens. Okay, let's play that back, take a listen. Uh, let's get our loopers in here too.
Let's play around with the speed again. We'll come back down to one quarters there. And we can go and adjust some of these. Let's maybe bring that looper down a little bit. So you get the picture there. Um, you can really do a ton of really cool stuff with this. You really got a ton and spent ages. So another thing I want to look at quickly is the macros. And these are also really, really nice to have. Uh, and the cool thing is you kind of have an unlimited amount of targets that you can do with each of these. So let's say, for instance, we'll uh, put in a bandpass filter on this one. And let's also put in something else on top of that. And maybe do a frequency shifter as well. So let's um, let's go ahead and, and again, I'm just kind of doing this at random. We're just going to click that on and we're going to start dialing in targets for our macro uh, in assign mode here. So we'll assign the filter a bit of that. We'll assign a little bit of the comb filter, we can assign the resonance to, the brightness we can mess around with, even the timing we could do. Let's do the stereo uh, offset there. And let's go to the frequency shifter. We'll do this guy too. Then what we'll also do is adjust the mix. And let's adjust the compression amount as well. And we're doing this all from one single knob. Once we're done there, we can do that. Let's pull the mix all the way down again. And let's pull this up and take a listen to what we've got. Cool. So really, really nice for building up little effects like that, these macro effects. And then you can automate these in your DAW afterwards. And this is without even touching the sequences and the uh, loops and so forth, or the envelopes and such. Um, so you can be as simple as you want with this right up to these really complex sequences with crazy glitch effects and stuff going on. So what I want to do is I want to just kind of look at some of the some of the presets and just kind of demonstrate what you can do with this. Uh, so with our drums, for example, we're going to edit some fills. We'll use this crystallization preset and rather than just let it run freely the whole time, what we can do is just enable our right automation in Cubase. We'll adjust the mix. And we'll set up all four of our macro knobs as well. So we can do various different things. And let's add in some interesting little bits and glitches into this drum loop that we have here now. So let's go for it. Let's go there. We'll go right on the snare. We'll come down that one. And I'm just kind of uh, playing around here. We'll see whether any of this actually works. And now we can play around with our macro knobs too. Some interesting stuff going on there. Let's see if we can add some animation to this pad now. Really nice gating that we have there, gating and filtering. Take a look at something we can do with this, for example. We've got some filtering ideas here. Pretty interesting that it changed the whole tone of the vocal. Mm -hmm. 
really like those little subtle um, repeats. Subtle stuff as well, just like a little bit of stereo effects. We can even stick a second infiltrator on just to listen. There's even some pretty good little um, sort of mix bus templates here as well. So we're just using this preset now as a compressor over the first infiltrator. And we can turn off any of these that we don't want as well. So if we've got, uh, we've got this frequency shift, we don't want that. Let's say we want to get rid of the reverbs. We can just disable those. And then none of these will play. Cool, so that pretty much wraps up Infiltrator from Devious Machines. Go check this one out. I've been really impressed with some of their plugins. I've been using uh, the Ursa DSP Boost quite a bit lately. Really, really nice limiter, so go give that one a go as well. Um, but yeah, Infiltrator, a lot of bang for your buck here. You're getting a ton of great sounding effects, some great sounding filters, um, and the versatility that this thing has is pretty epic. You can go everything from sort of very simple side chaining stuff uh, right through to these twisted, glitched out sequences um, for use in your tracks. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys soon right here at Sonic Academy. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching, we really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos hit the subscribe and notification buttons. PEACE!